I, I live, this din talaga ako maging guro upang pangatawan na ng aking ethnic name, ang aking mountain name na Patama. Someone who has so much to share. I am now sharing what I have, sharing my life to my learners, to our learners, to the rest of the community. Ako po si Jesus Katigan Insilada ng Malitwog National High School, Schools Division of Iloilo, Department of Education. Ito po ang aking half story. Meet Mr. Jesus Katigan Insilada, Principal 2 of Malitwog National High School from Department of Education and a 2020 Civil Service Commission Pag-asa Awardee. For his display of utmost respect for diversity in the establishment of a culture-based and inclusive education system, integrating the beliefs, practices, and spirituality of indigenous people in the school's lessons and teachings. Listen to his half story. As a school principal, as a school uh, leader, I have been advocating itong tinatawag natin na culture-based education. Yun nga dahil sa aking konteksto na ako ay proud member ng Panay Bukidun Indigenous Cultural Community at kami ay serving considerable number of indigenous learners nung nasa elementary, even uh, nung high school uh, up to college. Naroon din yung feeling na nagkakaroon din ng inferiority complex. Siyempre hindi maiwasan, lagi nandun yung underestimation, yung mababang pagtingin. Kaya uh, nagiging mission ko na rin ipakita through education kung ano dapat ang pagtingin natin sa mga bahagi or mga naging members ng indigenous cultural communities na dapat mataas ang ating pagtingin or pariho ang ating pagtingin sa mainstream dahil maraming mga dapat natin ipagmalaki when we talk about cultural background and heritage. Nung dumating ako sa Kaningwa National High School, and when I started to talk to teachers and to stakeholders, sharing with them the concepts and principles of culture-based education and how could we implement this in my new school, naramdaman ko yung hesitation, naramdaman ko rin yung konting resistance. Pero the team believe in what I believe na kailangan natin itong i-implement, kailangan natin i-contextualize, indigenize ang curriculum, and yung mga materials na ginapahagi natin sa mga bata dapat uh, culture-based at relevant nang sa ganun ay ma-empower at ma-liberate natin ang education ng mga bata at ang buong community at napatunayan namin na naging effective ito dahil na it led to decrease our dropout rates na pang uh, students could really relate Again, more interested sila sa kailang mga pag-aaral, we're able to decrease the dropout rate to 5% to 0% at the end or the last quarters of the year during my last year at Kaningwa National High School. Second, qualitatively speaking, naging more engaged ang ating community, ang ating stakeholders, especially sa panguna ng ating indigenous cultural communities through community leaders. Sa bago kong school, which is Malitbog National High School, we have been advocating in response to the present pandemic. This program called Happy and Healthy School. Through this program, we're able to overcome the challenges brought by this pandemic and other challenges. Nandun yung kakulangan ng mga kagamitan, facilities, and through uh, social mobilization by uh, tapping the different stakeholders, especially the alumni, our local government units. Very thankful to you, Jan, dahil full support sila sa ating school dito sa Malitbog National High School. And I'm very happy to announce to the world that we've been declared to be one of the world's best schools sa search naman ito, no, na T4 education. So I think nagpapatuloy tayo, hindi tayo humihinto. Nagpapatuloy tayong mag-respond sa kung ano ang mga pangangailangan. Dala na rin ng mga pagpapako katulad nitong pandemic. Very uplifting ang experience dahil na hindi lamang natin ito tinitingnan bilang nagtatapos sa pagbibigay ng award. At sa palagay ko, ang pagbibigay ng award ng Civil Service Commission sa akin noong 2020, maraming mga opportunities ang nagbukas. Ako kasama ang aking community ay naging more passionate, naging uh, more united at uh, more motivated to work together. Through this recognition, mas nakikita pa namin kung ano pa ang pwedeng gawin. Nang sa ganon ay 
we as an organization, we as one family, will continuously improve. At nang sa ganun ay whatever uncertainties ang dumating, we are building a happy, healthy, and strong education community. I encourage all Filipinos here and abroad to nominate your Lingkod Bayani na nananatiling modelo para sa lahat ng mga Pilipino sa anumang dako ng mundo. Para sa karagdagang informasyon, mangyaring bisitahin lamang ang Civil Service Commission website sa www.csc.gov.ph. The annual search for outstanding government workers in the Philippines started in 1965 through the Employee Suggestions and Incentive Award System, implemented under Section 7 of Republic Act No. 2260 or the Civil Service Act of 1959 to award public servants for extraordinary acts or services that contributed to the efficiency, economy, and improvement of government operations. The Civil Service Commission Pag-asa Award is conferred to an individual or group comprised of five members for outstanding contributions resulting from an idea or performance that directly benefits more than one department of the government. Join the search for outstanding government workers. For nomination procedures and requirements, get in touch with the Honor Awards Program Secretariat via email address hapsecretariat at csc.gov.ph or contact the nearest CSE regional or field office.